Hello my friends, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be sharing with you how to make this ephemera holder using one sheet of 12 inch paper because I really want to use up our scraps and our, you know, 12 inch papers. I'm going to show you how to make the base of this project in the video, which also includes a lot of the pockets. There's only a couple things to cut and score and then you've got a nice little package. Um, I've also used some printables from Digital Collage Club and um, I will kind of show you what where I've used those because that was the inspiration for the project. And then um, this also is going to be part of <clears throat> what I'm adding to my playlist for snail mail ideas and that kind of thing for craft with me projects because I think it's such a great thing to be able to send to a friend. It is not my original idea. Um, Kim actually sent me the video link to the lady that made something similar to this and her name is um, Shannon oh my goodness Chopin Hayes I will link her um, v uh, channel below just in case you wanted to check out her channel but these are the digitals that inspired this project from Digital Collage Club I just saw them and I had to use them um, if you are purchasing anything from DCC make sure to use my coupon code which I will leave, leave in the description box below so you can get some discounts if you are purchasing any of Tina's printables okay so the first one I'm going to show you is this um, kind of like more floral themed one. I've got some digitals here from DCC. I've used the base, as I said, with my 12 inch paper. It's double sided 12 inch paper. And as you can see here, we've got the first little pocket with again, a little piece of ephemera from DCC. And I've used really just about um, all of Tina's digitals, except some that are mine. So I will let you know when, you know, there's a difference. So I've got a little bit of um, embossed paper, which I love. Like if you just, you know, load this up with labels and journaling cards like these um, and you send them to your friends, they've got like a little extra pack of goodies coming in. And, you know, sometimes a little pack of goodies is a little bit of inspiration. And I really love to have that type of inspiration sometimes when I'm looking for something. This is one of my tags from my own digital. And I will also link that below. So here I just made the little belly band and then um, I've added a few little pockets, but the majority of the pockets you see here are from that one sheet of paper. It's just a few cuts, a few score lines, and then you've got this nice little package of goodies ready to go. So here I just added some additional pockets. As you can see here, this is a Tim Holtz um, die and I will link that below if you're interested in anything that you see here if I if I have any links I will link them below for you I have like an Amazon um, favorite supplies list just to make it easy for those of you that want to find some pieces again this is um, a little tuck spot I made with some DCC digitals I added a little tag there in that pocket and then the center here again just added a couple of more ephemera pieces this is from DCC and this is from my own digital as well um, and um, yeah, I thought it just went really nicely together. I like the neutral tones to this, very earthy tones. And then here I made another pocket. And this was the only piece left from the actual 12 by 12 sheet of paper, that little journaling card. That was the only thing left from the whole thing. So let me show you another kind of way of, you know, making maybe adding more pockets or, um, you know closing it up etc so for this one I kind of went a little more like grungy in a way um, again using DCC digitals this is a Tim Holtz double-sided paper which I thought was perfect for this I've got some ephemera here again another little pocket so here you can see I've added two pockets and I've made the pockets on the left side and not the right side this is also part of my digital, a journaling card. And then this little extra piece is from um, something I received from, I'll link it below. Here down at the bottom, I've got some additional little pieces, um, just more ephemera that can be used in any project. Really, I tried to keep it very neutral and something that the person that gets this could, you know, use again and again. I, um, I did this little stenciling technique, technique on that, which I'll show you later. So here's a little pocket with a tag. And this reminds me, I recently purchased these on Amazon and I wanted to get these little dies for mini envelopes. You can see how they are here, but maybe someone can tell me why they come out like this. I couldn't 
figure out what that little extra cutout piece at the bottom is here as you can see there it's got that tiny little straight like kind of hole there i have no idea what it's for anyone know please leave a comment below i'm trying to figure that out anyways both of them came like that they're very tiny envelopes they're super adorable but i can't figure out what that extra little cutout is for no clue anyways moving on um the um i will be showing you how to make this space if i forgot to mention that before um here again i did a little bit more of um, a stencil technique on that i made a little pocket with a leftover piece from one of my digitals again this one is from my french ephemera digital and i just added like extra little pieces the idea behind this project is i'm trying to use up a lot of what i have extra pieces little things that i may have had from previous projects um, and again it's just something quick and easy you can put together for you know your friends or a pen pal or even in swaps now for this project i used up the extra little piece that we cut out and i've made the extra two little pockets as you see here the one here and the one at the top that i made as a double in the center here i'll show you what i did but i'm sure you can see again i added another little pocket with some of the digitals and just you know ephemera that i had laying around this one is also from my digital um, it's just my floral um, vintage tags and then i've got some more pieces there from dcc in the center i had a piece that's left over from junk mail envelope and i decided to make a little see-through pocket right there and again added some more ephemera so i hope you're enjoying the share so far don't forget to like subscribe um, and you know hit that notification bell to know when i have another video i'm going to show you how to make this project and you know as always however you decide to decorate and you know whatever theme you want of course you can make this um, you know your own um, if you do make one don't forget to tag me um, on Instagram or Facebook or visit my blog and leave a comment and let me know uh, what you've made I would love to see it um, keep an eye out on my blog I've got some giveaways coming up as well if you haven't subscribed to my blog email list I will also leave that in the description box below okay let's get started with the project so take your 12 by 12 sheet of paper, keeping in mind if it's got a design that should be, you know, facing a certain way, um, it might be a little bit more difficult. So maybe choose something that the design can go either way. You're going to make one score at three inches. And then the next score is going to be at eight inches. So three inches and eight inches are your first two score lines. And then you're going to turn it over um, and make your score line at three and a half inches and then at eight and a half inches and those are the only score lines you need for this project now we're going to be doing a little bit of cutting a little bit of gluing and then your base is going to be ready to decorate so the first thing you're going to do is make sure that you've got your smallest square it could be your left or right depending again on your design so take your smallest top square and you're going to make a cut just below that first score line so you're going to cut just below that score line and you see you've got your little bit left here you're going to make sure you cut a little bit more because what you want to do is really cut the entire score line out I hope that makes sense so I'm leaving a tiny little gap here as you can see and this is just going to make it easier to fold your pages and to do the flips and everything so this is your first one so now depending on you know your design if you want this to face out or if you want the other side to be facing out um, this is where you would start designing where you're going to be making your um, pocket again we're doing the same thing to the other little square and you're just cutting the same little um, kind of piece to make sure you've got a little gap so maybe you can see it better in this side I think it's better to see it with this color so you've cut your four, your smallest squares you're going to bend one over and this is where you decide where your pocket is going to be so I've got my pocket right now going towards the right 
um, I'm going to take my little hole punch to make just a little thumbnail or thumb hole. Is that what it's called? Anyways, just to, um, to show your pocket, you don't need to do that step. If I wanted to, I could pull this over and make it into like a mini envelope. I could tuck it underneath so that you don't really see that there's a pocket or you can cut that other piece completely off and make a little tag like I ended up doing like a little journaling card. So this is your first pocket. So now you're just adding glue to two sides of your paper to make that pocket. And like I said, it's what I love about this is how easy it is to just cut off, you know, some score lines, glue some pieces together, and then you've got your little pockets. So you can see here, this is your first pocket. And now we move to the bottom right of your paper, and then you're going to be cutting up to that first score line and we're doing the same thing we're going to cut on either side of our original score line to leave a little gap between the pieces that we are cutting up and again this just makes it easier when you're gluing things sorry when you're folding things together especially with something that is attached so we're moving uh, we're folding this up and this becomes our next pocket Again, you don't have to do this step of it, um, but I just like to leave a little uh, thumb hole there. So now I'm using my wet glue again. Now I prefer to use wet glue in these kinds of projects, especially for pockets, because if you use double-sided tape, I find that whatever you're putting into your pockets gets stuck sometimes in the tape. So, um, you know, uh, I guess this type of glue works best. Um, and again, um, I like this particular one because it will not warp my pages. I will leave a link below if you're interested in um, what my favorite glues are. Okay, so the bottom left um, part here, we're just cutting um, just kind of like little triangles. Now, I didn't do this well, but it's okay. You can just, you know, fix it and, and make it work. But you're trying to make these little um, triangles with the bottom left um, piece of um, paper and again here I'm just gluing one side to make the pocket and now what you could do with this project if you wanted to is you can make pockets on this side or you can flip them to the other side of your scrap of paper so you would have pockets on the inside and on the other side of your um, little ephemera holder and again that would be um, another version of this project so here you can see we have our four little pockets and if i wanted to that top one on the right there um, i could fold it to the other side and make a pocket on the other side so it would essentially be the flap of my little um, ephemera holder so here I'm just scoring everything so you can see again where the folds go. And um, like I said, if I wanted to make a pocket on the outside of my little uh, flap, which, which becomes my little envelope, then I would fold that top piece um, to the back. But I ended up cutting this piece off anyways, and this is how it would look. So I hope you enjoyed the share. Don't forget to check out my playlist for other tutorials um, and my many one page projects that I've recently been making. Let me know what else you would like to see and leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you next time with more projects. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.